Welcome back to the counter. Um, people have been clamouring for more videos and um, it gets a bit tricky at the moment because our internet is woeful. But um, anyway, we'll do a we'll do one for this morning. Um, so firstly, uh, what I have is a, a 60 centimetre round MDF board. It's nine millimetres thick. And what I've done is I've taken a, a trick from one of the ladies at Let It Flow and I've used electrical tape, just plain black electrical tape, like this, and I've run it around the outside. Now resin doesn't stick to this, so uh, it's, it's a really nice way of getting a clean edge. The back is sealed by house paint and the front is gessoed couple of coats and then sanded smooth to give myself a nice finish. Now um, I just wanted to show you this masking tape. Now this is one that I did a week or so ago and I've taken off the, the electrical tape but because this is for me and I want a nice edge I've put on a clean piece of masking of electrical tape to finish this off. Now obviously if you're going to sell them this is uh, not optimum but this is how I like a clean looking edge for when I hang this at home. Okay. Now yesterday I poured this and I wasn't happy with this blue. This is too much of an electric blue um, and I wanted it a bit more greener. So I'll be redoing this today. A couple of other things before we start. People ask me about levelling all the time and what I have is these little boards that my husband has made for me. Wonderful that he is. It has three legs which makes it a tripod formation and much easier to level. Basically you leave the back one as it is and you adjust these front two and you'll always have a level. I put it in these uh, Ziploc bags and resin just peels straight off it. I use silicon muffin or cake moulds and I use them upside down. Resin just peels off these so easy to keep clean and it absorbs some of the weight of the board and the resin and keeps everything nice and straight. Now as a level I use these bullseye levels. They're made for caravans and they're perfect for this. And when you have a look into them you have a little bubble with some crosshairs and you put that in the middle of your your board and you get a level. And if you need to you just adjust left and right to get a level this way. Close up your Ziploc bag and you're ready to go. I should also say, I think I said earlier that this was a 60 centimetre round. It's actually a 40 centimetre round. Now just because I know Harold's interesting, <coughs> interested, um, I thought I'd jo just show you my husband's um, new pastime and that is mixing resin with wood and turning orbs or globes. How gorgeous is that? So this is just resin with a bit of mica through it. You can see into it and you can see the lovely glow of the wood and the little stands that he made. This one started as an orb but it was actually the wrong shape. We're still learning how much resin and to actually add but how gorgeous is that? So just He's quite shy, so uh, there you go. How beautiful. 
Okay, let's talk about the colours that we'll be using. Firstly, the premix products of Artisu Snow White and the Teal. And then what I've been doing is actually mixing these four Liquitex inks for other colours. It's the Blue Green um, Thallo, Deep Turquoise, the um, Thallo Green Blue Shade, and the, th and the Thallo Green Yellow Shade. So I've been creating my own colours with these and with those four you can get some wonderful tones. Now because I like using um, a heavier pigment with the inks I've been mixing my own from pigment powders and using a little bit of Part A to dissolve all the pigment paste and I'll be adding that to my resin for my uh, for my turquoise. So let's get mixing. Okay, so we're about ready. I've mixed my turquoise, the Artisu white, the um, Artisu teal, and a blue or green with the Liquitex. Good example, a uh, good time to actually remind you unless you have adequate ventilation make sure you use a respirator. I've got my torch filled, I've got my gloves, I'm double gloved. I've got my handy wipes, you can wipe your gloves, keep yourself clean. You don't want to contaminate your white. Actually I'll just change these books the new ones as I'll be doing the white first and um, I don't want any of the blue greens to contaminate that okay so the resin I'm using is a, a Lumalite amazing um, cast I think it is or clear um, nice viscosity resin it's quite a, a nice warm day and the temperature in here is 23 degrees so that's that's a good temperature for me so I'm just going to put down some white just spread that out give myself some coverage I'm putting that on quite thin, um, but I will add more when I pour the turquoises, and so there will be coverage. All up, there's about uh, 270 mils of resin in this. Um, you need to decide how much you need using a, a calculator. I tend not to waste resin, so. Uh, I try and be frugal and not tip it all off. And you can get in with your hands if you want to. Just add a bit more there in the middle. Now I'll do a, a quick torch of the bubbles, or actually I'll use my heat gun, and uh, that will just even out my my surface to run the other colours. Just let that run just a little bit just to get a nice edge. Okay, I'll just clean up that 
This is like a what? Now. So this is the um, turquoise. Beautiful colour. I'm not too concerned about this because I'm going to let it run down. Filling in a bit of the white as I go. I'm going to run a line of white. And then just a, a strand of white through the middle. Okay, now we're going to uh, use the bluer one. And I'm going to half cross over. Beautiful colour. Let this move just a little bit. Now I'm going to do a quick torch to the bubbles. small amount of white tiny bit of the dark blue now we're going to go with the green more of the blue now I just want to just move some of this in little streaks you won't see a lot of this but it's nice I've changed my gloves to some clean ones and we'll start using the heat gun. This is always the interesting bit. So much for keeping clean gloves. Um, turn this down if the if the noise bothers you.
uh, just a little bit out here and I think um, that's good to go. Just add just a little bit more here. Excellent. Just add a bit more white to this outside edge, making sure I don't contaminate any of the other colours. with that. Let's bring you down for a bit of a closer look. Okay, so here we have it. It's still moving slightly and some more cells will continue to uh, to bob up turned out really pretty the right uh, blues and greens and I quite like the balance bit of a shadow line at the back um, but I suppose technically it looks like a mountain <laughs> 